Okay, and now we're gonna start with the front door sill protectors first. Again, uh, these door sills, covers, protect the plastic. This plastic that gets all scuffed up from shoes. So uh, let's show you what it looks like overall before we put it on. You're gonna place it right up here like this to protect the pillar. All the way down here, we're gonna put it right underneath the lip. The last piece would be the Velcro. The Velcro piece is going to stick to the carpet down here. So it's really going to be good and make it easier to clean and maintain. And if you have some of the 3D Max Spider mats, it really complements them because it runs right up here. So you won't have to vacuum your car pretty much ever again um, as there's nowhere for crumbs. Okay, so let's try it first and decide if this is meant for you. Like I said, the Velcro is going to hold the carpet down, so put this down last. Put this piece right here, just like this. Spread this out. We call this our crumb collector. It's gonna fit right on here like this. Then we're gonna remove the double-sided tape, and then we're gonna stick it in place, and we're gonna lift the seal up last. All right, so that's it. So now let's get started. Okay, so to install it now, we wanna take these three pieces of uh, leader tape, we call it. And uh, we're going to feed these up to the top so we can double check the installation location without pulling them off. And again, you want to leave a little extra right here so it fits underneath. So number one, clean it with alcohol. Spray all this down. This plastic is not going to let anything stick to it. If it has any dirt, <clears throat> oil, or any kind of grease on it. So clean this plate off good, let it air dry, and let's go back. So now we're gonna place this down here. We're gonna feed these three pieces up here so we can remove them once we're sure of the location. I think this is all you need is about 3 16 of an inch. So this is perfect. I like how this feels, this nice soft rubber uh, will protect the hard plastic from getting scuffed, all right. So now we're going to grab these three and pull them this way, sticking this side down. And pushing the Velcro down, way down in there. All right, so it's like a spoiler install. Just pull them back and forth as you go. Pulling the tape off, laying it right down on top. Not too much on top. All the way down. Pull it out and press. You'll feel it grab and stick like crazy. Very strong tape. Now, the last thing we're gonna do is make sure that this fits good and that the rubber seal is on top. So take your rubber seal and pull it out like this, all the way down. And look at how good this is gonna look sitting right on top of the new RPM Tesla rubber door sill protection kit looks great just like this just feed it down straight up and over and if you overlapped it perfectly it'll look just like this so like i said half inch to three quarter of an inch would be great and it'll really keep the car perfect uh, keep the door sills from getting scratched up and then when you put your 3D Max Spider format back in place, right here, look how nice it all fits. And all the dirt and the crumbs will get caught in here. It's perfect. Again, you can wash it and clean it up, spray it down, anything you want. And uh, sure protects this whole area from getting scuffed up with shoes. Of course, our door sills are great too. All right, let's go to the back seat now. Okay, now on the Model Y back seat, in this case, we took all the tape liner off. We really don't know why, but we did. So anyway, we're gonna place it the same way as we did before. We're gonna be a little careful here. But look how nice it fits under the seat and around the seat and all the way up here. So just place it like this. And if you have to reposition it, it's not the end of the world. And then this goes all the way up and under the seat. Look from a real low angle, how nice and flush this sits and how it protects and preserves your original plastic 
so you won't get scuffs in it with kids or passengers in the back seat. So again, right now I'm gonna pull it up a little bit because this looks really nice here. You can see this is kind of like the guide angle. Stick it like this, stick it down like that. That goes right into the seat, perfect. Of course, try this before taking off the mats. Uh, sorry, before taking off the red tape and add some pressure to activate the pressure sensitive adhesive tape or the PSA. Okay, so now we're ready to put the seal underneath. So find a piece of plastic or a credit card or anything and just lift the seal up like this. Am I blocking you? And then flip it down like this right underneath. So you're just tucking it in. Put your finger down, slide it all the way down. And this way the seal of the door is holding the rubber down. So the RPM model wide door seals are held down in place. Now look at that, it looks great, it looks perfect. And this is all protected. If you ever wanna sell the car, rip it out, tear it out one day, you'll have your original plastic underneath in perfect condition. And again, you won't get scuffed because this is a nice rubbery textured material. So this is actually a super soft thermoplastic rubber. It's not rubber, it's soft thermoplastic, injection molded. Anyway, now we're gonna go to the other sides. 